What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. As you can see, we have some tech. I, I actually got this microphone about four years ago for my birthday, and I finally am able to use it, or have a reason to use it, so that makes me happy. Um, so, I got a... Uh, I don't even know what the hell kind it is. It is a sure, sure microphone, but um, it sounds amazing. <laughs> so at least you can hear me better now. Um, and maybe you'll get some of that uh, ASMR when I'm opening packs. They're crackly. But anyway, um, as uh, I always do, I have tons of things shipped to the house, and I got some more uh, mail. Uh, a couple last couple days. This is a um, two auctions in this box. I actually had it in another box, and I put it in this one. So this is um, two auctions here, and uh, obviously this looks like comics. So I got two two comics in the mail. So let's check out what I got first. Uh, this was an auction that I won last week, and I finally got it. Um, little stuff, but and I have one of these already. But I just love this uh, Skybox Jason Kidd rookie. And it was really good. It was really well centered, um, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. So, um, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Uh, it's really nice. Nice card. Nice shape. This one was a buck. And it was. It's a John Ross. Uh, it was like a triple materials and an autograph. I mean, for a buck, and it's numbered to one ninety nine. I I couldn't pass this one up either. I mean, with the twenty percent in the shipping, I'm sure it's more than a buck, but I'm happy. And uh, I don't know why I. And I have no, I'm not a fan of NASCAR at all. Sorry about that. I'm not a fan of NASCAR at all, but I love one-to-one -one printing plates for some reason. Um, I'm actually, uh, I have, and I'll dig them up another day. I actually have three of one player, a football player. He's like a lineman. But I bought one in an auction, and then I hunted down uh, two more. So I think I'm just missing the cyan. I'd love to have all four, but... Trying to find the one is going to be tough unless some guy randomly puts it on eBay and I manage to scoop it up. But I have I have something that's watching for it. Um, hopefully I, I get it. We'll see. I'm watching it, though. Um, so that's that one. This auction is actually really good. And you know what? We'll do that one last because there's some really good stuff in there. And uh, I paid for it. I definitely paid for it. But um, there's some good cards in there. I love, as I always say, I love these Geminis. When you get them, save them because they're great for shipping comics. I would never ship uh, a comic over twenty dollars and anything less than a Gemini. So we save those. Oh, this is another auction actually. So I got well, that's a lot more beat up than I thought it was, but it was super cheap. It was like two bucks for a Firestorm number one. Um, and I have like four or five of these already. I actually got a nice nine four in an auction, not an auction, uh, a collector buy collection by um, a while ago so I have like four or five of these but it's a great cover Firestorm number one it's pretty beat but for a couple bucks it's alright I did I get anything else in this oh I did I got a Dominique Wilkins rookie is that in a one touch it isn't no it's not in a one touch it's a screw down I paid let's see I paid uh, I paid four dollars for the Firestorm, which is probably way too way too much for that in that condition. But this Dominique rookie, I spent um twelve dollars. That's not too bad. It's a little off centered. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little off centered. The scuff is on the the screw down, not the card. The card's actually really nice. So I mean, corners corners and edges are nice. But the uh, off center that'll probably put this one like a six, maybe a five. As I've learned, they're super strict. So who knows? But I didn't pay much for it, and it's Dominique. Oh, it's not his rookie. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he's the same year as Jordan. His rookie was '82. Well, already then, I don't even know if it's worth the thirteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm happy. I don't care. That's fine. That's later. This is a, this is an actual comic comic that I bought, I think, on eBay. Let's see what it is. 
I know I'm expecting a couple of those. Um, I have two more Peach Momoko covers coming because I love them. And uh, I, I definitely got a... Uh, oh, I know what this is. Yeah, it's the number one... Um, number one Batman Adventures. Uh, so this is the um, the co this is the start. This is the comic based off of um, Batman the Animated Series, which you know I love. I love Batman the Animated Series. I'm actually starting to rewatch it again. And this is the comic that kicked off after the the television show. So this is from 1992. It's a great cover. They actually just um, reprinted it in classics. And I think it just actually just came out this week, or it's it came out two weeks ago. But this thing's like a nine. It's really nice. I'll tell you how to grade. Like when you get into the higher ups, the really mint, mint, mint conditions. This is exactly how you do it. You look at all four corners first. Start everything off at a ten, and you look at each corner. So there's a little white white dot. Nine eight immediately, and there's like a little tiny scuff down there. Nine six. Bam. 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 Then you start looking at the other corners, which are perfect. You look at the spine for a wrinkle. So each each thing is a tick down nine nine four nine two nine zero. Um, but that's how you you start looking at mint comics. Immediately you can tell if it's a nine eight. And most comics do have a little white, rough corner. It's just a printing error, a printing thing that just happens on a lot of comics that's why you don't see tens out there you always see nine eights and nine sixes because the nine six is two corners a nine eight is one corner like that's basically uh when you're looking at comics how you can grade the top top books then you look at cover then you you look at corners spine and then surface but this is really nice this is a nine six for sure it's in good shape all right cool um, all right, and this is the the big boy. I got a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Oh, I can hear it in the headphones. It sounds good. I like this microphone. Isn't it? Ooh. Exacto. Right. Oh my god, that's so much sticky stuff. More sticky stuff. There we go. There's a little bit of a giveaway there. Alright. I'm gonna look at them off camera and then I'll I'll bring them in. So this is a and it's it's okay. It's a nineteen sixty three uh, Joe Namath. Marked 75 bucks. I didn't pay 75 bucks. I think I paid $5 for it. Let's actually see what I paid for these because there was no invoice. I know I paid too much for a couple of them, but I wanted them. I've, I've never had one, and I wanted them. We'll get to those. Let's see. Items I've purchased. Like that I got. And I bought a lot. Okay, here we go. So that Joe Namath I got for sixteen dollars. Probably too much, but I know it's a um, sixty-five dollar card in nice, nice condition. I got. Where's the, there we go. This is a Y Tittle, 1956 Y Tittle. I got that for six dollars. I mean, it's off center, but it's cool. I like it a lot. And he's on the Niners. Next is a 1987-88 second year Carl Malone. I paid four dollars for that. That's in a screw down. We'll throw. I don't even know if it's worthy of a one touch. Maybe just a top loader. We'll see. This one is. I think we're. Let's go in value. Let's see. This one is uh, my favorite player of all time. Uh, 1984 Fleer Don Mattingly. 
pretty nicely centered, really good corners and edges. That thing's probably an 8 7. I paid $4 for it. Um, I think that's a good deal. Next is uh, I got a let's see how much I paid for this. Scroll up. I paid $20 for this. It is a Dennis Rodman rookie. Um, 1988-89 Fleer Dennis Rodman rookie and I'm probably this is one of the ones I probably overpaid for at 20 bucks it's um, probably at the height of the market and it's a little off centered it's off centered top to bottom pretty pretty drastically and left to right it's it's enough where it's not not up there so 20 bucks is probably all of its money next I got uh, two Dan Marino rookies. So I got this one for 20 and this one for 40 and that one is in the centering is really really nice on this one. I don't know if you can see that. So I paid 40 for that one and it's really it's really nice. I might have to go get this graded. It's in really nice shape. Corners are really good. Yeah, that's a really nice card. This one, you know, what did I say, 20? 25. This one is off, it's off-centered and turned. I work with a guy who's a huge Dolphins fan. Maybe I'll give this to him as a, as a gift. I guarantee he doesn't have one. Probably, he's just getting back into cards. Maybe I'll give that to him. Bob, if you're listening, I'm going to give this to you. All right, and uh, last but not least, a little faded, some surface. Uh, I got this for forty bucks, but it is one of my favorite players of all time. A nineteen eighty six tops uh, Jerry Rice rookie. The centering's pretty good, and the corners are good. It's just got this, this surface thing. I don't know. I thought maybe it was uh, like some sticker muck, and I took a chance on it, but it looks like it's on the card. So, yeah. I don't know. The centering's okay. I think this will come back pretty low if I get it graded, and it's a little faded. So, but that, mail call. That's what I got. So that one I spent some money. So, for the break today, I'm going to open 1991 Upper Deck. I'm going to do, I always break the videos up into corners. I'm going to do bottom right corner today. Um, the Hunt, as you all know, because I'm on a Jordan craze, is the short print, Michael Jordan, White Sox batting. Uh, I think they're going for, they're going for a few bucks now. Um, also, there is the find the Nolan Ryan, autograph Nolan Ryan cards in this set. Um, I've never even seen one, so that'd be cool to pull. I bet that's worth a few bucks. Um, base cards with any value, you got the uh, Mike Messina rookie, and you have um, Chipper. Chipper Jones is in this set. Uh, after that is Eric Karros. Let me look. I was just looking before. Eric Karros is one. Not much after. It's like Eric Karros, Reggie Sanders. Like, there's not, there's not a whole lot of... Let's see, upper deck. I will edit this out. Because nothing's happening. Okay, so yeah, um, the other rookies, Eric Karras, Reggie Sanders, Luis Gonzalez, those guys are, you know, Jeff Conine. There's nobody here... Um, of any value other than rookie wise other than Chipper Jones and Mike Messina then when you get into this 90s stuff this early 90s stuff um, always Barry Bonds always Nolan Ryan uh, always uh, Cal Ripken Mark McGuire Roger Clemens Mattingly Brett all those guys uh, they're worth a buck under a buck 50 cents Greg Maddox um, Ken Griffey Jr. is in this set. And this is the year after Sammy Sosa's rookie. So this is Sammy Sosa's second year. 
This is also Larry Walker's second year. He was 1990. So, all right. We're going to open up a quarter of this box. I did not pay $25. I paid $10 for this box. I have one more. I paid 20 bucks for two boxes of this. Um, yeah, one thing I do love about Upper Deck is there is no chance this stuff whoops, was a, it was resealed. It's all aluminum coated or aluminum packs. Um, oh, I said bottom right. We'll do bottom right. They're all like aluminum packs um, that you cannot reseal these. So upper deck is about as authentic as you get. It's about as guaranteed as it gets. So, all right, we'll open up those um, nine, right? That's fine. Okay. And I'll put that off to the side. We'll save the rest of those for another video. All right, let's get to it. Jordan short print. That's what we want. And a Nolan Ryan. That would be great. Find the Nolan. It's regular Nolan. Kenny Rogers. I think he's holograms. Mets. I'll give that to my wife. Nothing there. All right. He's back and forth. Joe Clink. Charlie O'Brien. No. There's your Luis Gonzalez. So that's his rookie. That's probably like 50 cents, if that. Hector Villanueva. Maybe I'll give the uh, holograms to the kid. Nope and nope. Should open them up closer. Mookie. Man. These were big sets too, if I remember. Upper deck, they they printed gargantuan sets. This is the first uh, Hall of Famer we've had so far. Would you believe that these two cards are the best cards I've gotten so far. Yeah, I don't even know. This is, let's see. 805 cards in this set. That is a lot of cards. They might have all the short prints in here. Ricky Henderson, Nolan Ryan. That's a short print, that card? That's that printed one. There we go. That's one of them. 250. Mike Messina rookie. I actually don't have this card, so that's the best one so far. Bernie Williams rookie. I mean, that means a lot to me. I'm a Yankee fan, but maybe not so much to anybody else. And nothing. Well, that's good. At least in that corner, Mike Messina is one of the big ones. And by big ones, I mean it's you could sell it for a dollar. Another Nolan Ryan. Ryan Barnes, no. No, Jim Leyritz. I met him once. I met him at City Field, Mets. He was just hanging out in the vestibule, the Jackie Robinson vestibule. Nice guy. Mark McGuire, always worth keeping. Nothing there. Four more packs, and I'm going to play Call of Duty. <laughs> Mark Williamson, Lieberthal, no. It's always two rookies. So we'll get Chipper eventually. Cecil, I would just pull that for me. Cecil was one of my favorite players of all time. I was a diehard Yankee fan. When he came to my team, I was so excited, but... Uh, there's something about him in the 90s just hitting those massive home runs. There's nothing like him. Him and Conseco. Three more. Nope. Nope. Rob Ventura. I gotta pull Daryl. I love Daryl. He's another guy I've met a few times. Hall of Famer Gary Carter. 
Daryl Strawberry is one of the sweetest men you'll ever meet. He's a good dude. Like I, I said in one of my earliest videos, me and my dad ran a um, baseball cart business starting in like the um, early 80s. And we used to do these, ma this is before autographs were anything, we used to do these massive, massive like Labor Day and Memorial Day shows that would last weekends. And um, it was so funny because back then autographs weren't what they are now and we used to get our three tables for you know a few hundred dollars and in in an envelope right on the middle of the table was an autograph ticket for everybody appearing at the show and this would be like the mid to late 80s so we I mean that one show was like Daryl and Doc and Bo Jackson and Will Clark Santiago Gwyn McGuire Canseco Ricky Henderson like everybody was there and we had free autograph tickets for everyone I remember Pete Rose showed up in this big giant fur coat and everybody's laughing because it was Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got to meet a lot, a lot of players and, and got a lot of autographs for nothing. I'll get into some stories, some other videos, but I have I have some great guys and some not some great guys. And it's a good Frank Thomas card. Um, but yeah, back in the day, we got to meet a lot of a lot of cool baseball players. Still to this day, the best one ever is Kirby Puckett. I'll tell you this story in another video, but Kirby Puckett, hands down, the nicest, nicest guest ever. And one of the worst, the very same show in, like, North Jersey at, like, a, you know, a Marriott. Um, same show, best and worst of all time. <laughs> But uh, there's Sammy Sosa's second. I gotta watch that. I didn't even watch. Did anybody um, comment below if you watched the uh, the ESPN documentary? I didn't get to see it yet. I still haven't watched the uh, Last Dance. I still gotta watch that. Two Hall of Famers back to back: Larkin and and uh, Edgar Martinez. And that's it. Okay. So for the first quarter, that's not bad. Messina, Frank Thomas, got some Hall of Famers in here. Um, plenty of holograms for the kid. And I will, uh, I will tell you my best and worst uh, <laughs> signing experience, or a few of them. I'll get into those in the next video. But um, signing off for now. Comment below. Uh, tell me about your uh, in-person experiences with uh, players, autograph signings. Uh, let me know. And uh, subscribe, like, hit the bell, and uh, see you next time. Later.